nothing to be proud of, New York City, right? The New York City riders, listen up. On top the list of Uber's worst rated passengers. Listen up. New York City riders, top the list of Uber's worst rated passengers. See the other cities with the lowest rider ratings. And you know how you get a low rider rating? Well, hey, go ahead and slam the guy's door. Go ahead and leave all your trash and your McDonald inside a driver's car, right? So I'm, I'm, I haven't even jumped into the story. I'm excited to report this because Business Insider, I subscribe to them. They bring fantastic stories. So we shall see. So Uber on Wednesday revealed the lowest and highest customer ratings per city. Hopefully, you know, they realize, hey, we're like, the light's on us right now. We're the worst riders in the nation. Hopefully they, you know, hopefully this makes them brush up the act and, 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 and step it up a little bit, right? While New York City tops the list as the city with the worst passengers, San Antonio has the best. So you have San Antonio in Texas with the best riders. What does that tell you? That the driving experience for a driver in San Antonio is, is probably a lot of fun and a much easier to work in, in a city like San Antonio versus driving in New York City. And New York City drivers, feel free to chime in, right? Feel free to share about the riders in your city. Uber also released a new privacy center tool for users to see their ratings per ride. Um, it's all here. Uh, let me just jump into the story here. Hopefully this loads. Um, so start spreading the news. New York City has the most poorly behaved Uber riders in the country. The nation's largest city ranked number one on a list of lowest average rider ratings amongst large U.S. cities, according to a survey conducted by Uber and shared with Insider. Passengers ratings range from one to five stars and are based on a variety of factors including clean, cleanliness, punctuality, safety, and overall respect for the driver and other passengers. The survey, I'm glad they did the survey, which also tracked the highest rated cities, comes on the heels of Uber unveiling new privacy center feature that allows users to view a comprehensive breakdown of their ratings per ride on the app to get a better understanding of the score. We hope that by giving users a peek into how their rating is calculated, we can help encourage positive experiences between riders and drivers on every trip. That is why you need to circulate the story so that uh, drivers see it. Um, now, while New York may have the worst passengers, it's not alone in its low rankings. Take a closer look at the lowest average rider ratings by region. Here we go. Number one, well done. New York, it's up to new, it's up to you, New York, New York, to pull up your socks. Seattle, number two, three, Washington, D.C., number four, Boston, number five, Minneapolis, St. Paul, number six, San Francisco, number seven, Philadelphia, number eight, my city, L.A., Los Angeles, number nine, Baltimore, Maryland, number 10, Chicago. On the flip side, Passengers in San Antonio held the highest rider averages, according to the survey. Here are the other cities that rounded out the list of top 10 highest average rider rating amongst large cities. Number one, well done, San Antonio, numero uno. Number two, San Luis. Number three, Nashville. Number four, Salt Lake City. Number five, Kansas City. Number six, Sacramento. Number seven, Tampa Bay. Number eight, Charlotte. Number nine, Las Vegas. Number 10, Portland. So there it is. By offering more transparency and easier access to your data, we hope this gives you all you need to have a five-star experience on every ride. Uber wrote in a blog post announcing its new privacy center on Wednesday. So hopefully those who fall into the lower ratings um, will take a little closer look at themselves and say, hey, how did we get here? And the ones that have the highest ratings like San Antonio, give yourself a nice pat on the shoulder. Well done, guys. You know how to treat drivers. And if you treat drivers nicely and you're getting fantastic ratings from riders, it works both ways. 
you'll probably have more five stars giving in both given in both direction than in a city like New York City, right? So good data, good good report. Thank you, Business Insider. And please share. You know, sharing is caring. Sharing is educating in this case. Be safe.